हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर कल्पना एंड यूर वॉचिंग माई यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मेसी लेसन मेड ईजी द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज वीडियो इज द मेजरमेंट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ फ्लूड्स वी शेल मोर स्पेसिफिकली डील अबाउट द इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स विच आर यूज टू मेजर द फ्लो रेट ऑफ फ्लूड्स सो एज वी ऑल नो फ्लूड्स इंक्लूड्स बोथ लिक्विड्स एज वेल एज गैसेस so uh, if to categorize fluids these are those substances which get deformed when the shear stress is applied they usually change their shape that is called deformation so both liquids and gases as they take the shape of the container in which they are occupied they generally are able to change their shape so that's why they are called fluids now the question is how to measure the flow of fluids there are several instruments which are used let's uh, discuss the methods and the instruments one by one see for the optimum use and quantification the flow is measured by three basic principles one based on the direct weighing method another one is direct displacement method and the most commonly used is hydrodynamic method so let's discuss them one by one actually direct weighing method is uh, used for liquids not gases for a certain period of time the liquid is allowed to flow and it is collected after that period of time so the collected volume can then be weighed out for determining the rate of flow but this method is applicable only on small scale and it is inconvenient for the industrial scale that's why it is not that much commonly used if we talk about the second principle uh, that is direct displacement method it is actually used to determine the rate of flow of fluid by measuring the total volume of fluid that has passed through the meter okay the stream of water enters and strikes the movable disk the greater the flow more will be the rotation of the disk and more will be the number of rotations which can be easily noted down through its counting dial or on its display right so the displacement of this rotatory disk is transmitted through the gears of counting dial dial and thus the rate of flow can be easily measured this method uh, using meter gives the value of total volume of fluid that has passed across the meter which when divided by the definite period of time results the flow rate in the previous method we were using the mass of volume that has been flowed is collected for certain period of time and that mass was divided by time to give the rate here the volume of fluid that has passed across the meter the disk that is being used rotating disk okay that is utilized so it is generally used for measuring the fluid flow rate for small lines the domestic water supplies use it uses direct displacement for measuring the volume of water the third and the most commonly used method is the hydrodynamic method okay based on the dynamics of water these methods measures the flow of fluid so first one uh, among them is uh, the venturi meter actually venturi meter is the device which is consisting of three main sections one a converging throat mm, this one this is the converging throat uh, sorry converging part this one is the throat the middle portion and this one is the divergent part okay so this is a convergent part this is throat and this is diverging part so it is basically of three different sections it consists of this venturi meter right so how will it work 
द वर्किंग ऑफ वेंचुरी मीटर इज बेस्ड ऑन द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ बर्नॉलिज थ्योरम बेसिकली एंड इट स्टेट्स दैट इन अ स्टेडी एंड आइडियल फ्लो ऑफ एन इनकम्प्रेसिबल फ्लूड द टोटल एनर्जी एट एनी पॉइंट ऑफ फ्लूड इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो द टोटल एनर्जी विल बी योर कानेटिक एनर्जी प्रेशर एनर्जी एंड पोटेंशियल एनर्जी The venturi meter is used to measure the rate of flow of fluid through the pipes. Let's understand uh, the detail in steps. Here uh, we have to consider two cross sections. First at the inlet and second one is at the throat. The difference in the pressure head of these two sections is used to calculate the rate of flow through the venturi meter. as the water enters at the inlet section that is in the converging part it converges and reaches to the throat in this diagram the water will enter from here and it will change its path and move like this okay so first it is converging and then diverging this converging part is generally shorter than this diverging part so the angle of convergence will be greater than the angle of divergent part because uh, this is done to reduce the frictional losses during the sudden flow okay from this throat to this diverging part okay so that's why it is done so once the water that is being entering here will be subjected to this throat through the converging part and after this it will again get diverged through the diverging part and the difference between the sex this one the entrance inlet and the throat the difference between these two pressures will give the value of pressure head okay and because at this place the velocity will be higher the velocity will be higher at which place i'll show you the velocity will be higher at this place and it will be lower at this place so as per bernoulli's theorem if we are taking this as datum or the reference point then both these points of section 1 and section 2 have the same potential energy so that will be nullified at both the sides in the bernoulli's theorem so the rest two energies which are considered are pressure energy and kinetic energy so the kinetic energy will be more in the throat part that's why the pressure will be less at the throat part so as to maintain the constant sum of pressure kinetic and potential energy right so among these two sections the manometer will be connected so that it will measure the pressure head and corresponding difference in the velocity head can be determined by the equations right the, the throat has the uniform cross section area and least cross section area in the venturi meter as the water enters in the throat its velocity gets increase increased sorry and due to increase in the velocity the pressure drops to the minimum now there is a pressure difference of the fluid at two sections at the section 1 at the inlet the pressure of the fluid is the maximum and the velocity is minimum and at the section 2 that is at the throat the velocity of fluid is maximum and the pressure is minimum the pressure difference at the two sections can be seen in the manometer attached at both the sections right this pressure difference is used to calculate the rate of flow of fluid through the pipe the derivation is like let d1 p1 
a1 these are the diameter or at the inlet at uh, the pressure at the inlet velocity at the inlet and area of, of the cross section at inlet that is section 1 similarly p2 v2 d2 a2 are the corresponding values for section 2 right applying Bernoulli's theorem in both the sections this is p1 by rho g this is which energy this is pressure energy right this one is kinetic energy this one is potential energy potential energy so similarly this one is pressure energy this one is kinetic energy and this one is potential energy because both the levels that is section 1 and section 2 are at the same height that is due to its position they gain some potential energy because they have the same kind of potential energy so in this equation these two terms can be cancelled out as the pipe is horizontal okay so the final equation from this will become p1 rho g plus v1 square by 2g is equal to p2 by rho g plus v2 square by 2g so if we see p is equal to h rho g we know this right so from here p upon p upon rho g will be equal to h right so the difference in the pressure head will be determined by this difference in pressure divided by rho g that height in the manometer will be equal to v2 square minus v1 square by 2g okay in this what we did we have simply taken the pressure term at one side and the velocity terms at the right side okay so simple by taking the redistribution of the different terms we got the equation one that is p1 minus p2 upon rho g is equal to v2 square minus v1 square by 2g right this term is actually equal to h that is pressure head so this p p1 minus p2 by rho g is the difference of pressure head at section 1 and 2 and it is equal to h so this whole term okay because it is h so the equation will become h is equal to v2 square minus v1 square by 2g like h is equal to p1 minus p2 by rho g right we know this we know that this is the term h so once we'll substitute we'll get h this h is equal to v2 square minus v1 square by 2g this equation okay so by applying the continuity equation at v at section 1 and 2 we know that a1 v1 is equal to a2 v2 so v1 value would be a2 v2 by a1 substituting this in the equation 2 this equation that is h is equal to v2 square minus v1 square by 2g this v1 value is being put here okay in this equation so h will be equal to v2 square minus a2 v2 by a1 whole square divided by 2g and the equation will become this okay so the discharge is q is equal to a2 v2 by substituting the value of v2 in the above equation we will get q is equal to a upon a1 square minus a2 square square root of 2g h right so the only difference here is we have multiplied 
द टर्म वी टू विथ ए टू ओके दिस होल इज ए टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाय वी टू राइट सो होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस नाउ Q is actually the internal theoretical discharge under ideal conditions. Actual discharge will be less than theoretical discharge. The actual discharge is given by the formula Q actual is equal to C D. That is coefficient multiplied by this a one a two upon a one square minus a two square square root of two G H. So where this is applied. venturi meter venturi meter is actually used for high pressure recovery it is also used to measure the flow rate of water soils slurry gases and dirty liquids it can be used for measuring high flow rates in pipes having diameter in few meters and in water supply industries venturi meter is used if we talk about its industrial applications uh it is important to mention here that it allows the operator to monitor and control the flow process it is used to detect the system failure it is used in uh, waste water pipe how it is used in uh, detecting system failures because uh, if there is any leakage so the difference in pressure will not be generated to that extent because there is a leakage so we will be able to uh, understand why this is happening so if there is any failure of the system it can be easily detected by venturi meter then it is used in waste water pipes and measurement of air flow in car engines in the motor vehicle it is used to settle the flow of gasoline in ignition system it is used to measure the rate of flow of blood in arteries in the medical field so uh, a few characteristics that are inherent part of venturi meter are number 1 there is no restriction to the flow of fluid down the pipe they can be manufactured to fit any pipe size and the meter is not affected by the temperature and pressure in the pipe it has no moving part right so what it actually depends upon it is to square root of 2 gs that is the pressure head difference okay and the gravitational constant and frictional constant cd okay as we have discussed already in the formula and the derivation now the advantage is there is less chance of getting clogged with sedimented particles because the uh, diameter of the pipe is quite large and it will not at all get clogged moreover it can be installed horizontally or inclined or vertically and there is minimum loss of energy because there is slow tapering slow convergence slow divergence so the loss in energy is minimum this is the major difference between the venturi and orifice meter it is more accurate and can be used for dirty fluids because there is no clogging if we talk about the disadvantages it is quite inexpensive uh, it is quite expensive as compared to orifice meter and it's it needs lots of space the maintenance of venturi meter is quite difficult and it cannot be used for pipes whose diameter is less than 7.5 cm otherwise the same problem of like uh, uh, difference in convergence divergence that will not at all be created in that situation it is uh, also difficult to inspect during its construction so this was all about uh, the venturi meter the next one is orifice meter which we shall discuss in the next video thanks for watching if you like the video please click on the like button do subscribe my channel and share it on social media thank